Wikitubia is a site on fandom.com, formerly Wikia, uh, at youtube.fandom.com, where people can post articles about YouTubers, uh, sort of like related to YouTuber fandom, uh, drama, events, different things like that. Now, on Wikitubia, in 2020, uh, I personally added some information about the Creeps McPasta grooming accusations to his profile. And that was immediately deleted, and Creeps McPasta's page was protected, like locked, so that the information could not be added back, essentially protecting Creeps McPasta from any of the allegations that were against him, and blocking anybody, not just me, blocking everybody from discussing it, from posting about it at all on his page. Uh, that lock is in place to this day. Three years later? <laughs> Pretty long time. Now, this was something that I didn't really hold against the Wikitubia people. Uh, it's their fandom, it's their wiki. At the end of the day, they get to decide what is or isn't on it, even if they're blocking, you know, information that people might need. But I moved on with my life and sort of left the site behind. Didn't use it for the years between then and now. However, recently, someone contacted me on fandom by using the message page and told me to verify that I am actually Slime Beast, or else I'll be banned. And I'm like, I don't even use this page, I don't give a fuck, ban me. <laughs> like, who, who gives a shit, I don't use your site. And so the person banned me. But they put in the ban message, they said, impersonating others. Now, they didn't put suspected of impersonation. They didn't put uh, refused to verify. They put directly in there, impersonating others, implying multiple people had been impersonated on top of everything else. Now, this may seem like this is just me bitching about being uh, kicked off a site, but really, I don't give a fuck about being banned from a site I don't fucking use. What this is really about is what happened afterward, and what this has brought to light. And feel free to tell me if I'm crazy in the comments below when all of this is over. It's entirely possible that I'm looking too far into this. But I just want to share with you guys what I figured out. So one of the staff members related to this ban uh, was going off with, like, snide comments and, like, making derogatory comments about me and then deleting them so that only I would see them in the alerts and, you know, nobody else would see what the staffer was saying. Like, you know, this very cowardly, uh, pathetic little things like that. So I said, all right, fuck it. If this dude's going to snipe at me and be a little dick about it, you know what I'll do? I'll just, I'll verify my account. So I verified myself as the real slime beast, got unbanned, and I told that moderator, that, you know, staffer of the wiki, I told him he was a bitch. I fully expected to be banned again. For, for calling a staffer a bitch, and I'd be like, hey, that's fine, at least I actually did what you're banning me for this time. But, uh, yeah, so I called this moderator a bitch, and he started popping off, he started doing a bunch of crazy shit, like, abusing his abilities on the site, like, deleting stuff, and, you know, repeatedly blanking things and going crazy. Uh, he didn't like the fact that his authority was challenged, but then again, what's new... Discord moderator, you know, wiki moderator, of course, that's going to be the response. That's predictable, and that's not anything I would be, you know, surprised by. Uh, totally fine. You know, after that, let's go our different ways. But, however, other staffers apologized for this guy's behavior or tried to explain away his behavior by telling me, oh, that moderator is a minor. He's a kid. To which my response is, why are you giving mod roles to children? <laughs> like, like I don't know what they expected. They expected me to go, oh, he's a child? Oh, okay, sorry about that. No, my response is going to be, he's a child? Why are you hiring children <laughs> to this fucking site? Because this is a site that has pages on EDP, Wings of Redemption, uh, all this stuff going on with Dream right now. A lot of stuff about pedophilia, sexual assault different articles like that. Now I'm going to need you guys to kind of be like my sounding board here and tell me if I'm completely crazy or if I'm justified in what I'm thinking here. Um, my first thought on this is that underage people, like kids, like anyone under 18, let's make a, let's make a hard defined line right there, probably should not be uh, exposed. And this, you know, gets worse 
the younger the kid is, of course, be like exposed to the content that is being posted here about uh, sexual assault and about grooming and about pedophilia and about all these different things. Um, the kid probably shouldn't be exposed to that directly. Now, other people would say, hey, kids got to learn, you know, kids got to learn. So I can understand that, you know, that kids have to learn the world's a dangerous place. You got to learn, you know, that not everybody's your friend. And it's good to know that YouTubers cannot be trusted implicitly. Like, you have to verify and you have to figure things out for yourself as to whether or not someone, you know, you think may be trustworthy. And even then, don't trust them, you know, like you would a fa friend or family member. So I understand that part of it where people are like, well, kids, you know, kids got to learn sometime that, you know, these people are bad. Yeah, I get that. But my secondary concern, which is the much bigger concern, is these children have uh, power over what is or isn't added to these pages. So you have children who want to moderate a YouTube wiki, who are fans of YouTube, who are fans of YouTubers. You have child fans deciding what does or doesn't go up on pages. And that makes me concerned because it just tells me there's an opportunity there for a YouTuber to be accused of something and for a child moderator to be like, I know, I know that Dream would never do this, using Dream as an example. I know that he would never do this. Why is everybody lying? I'm going to delete every time someone says anything about this. I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to try to hide it. I'm going to make sure that nobody buys these lies, you know. Like, basically being a fan, being a stan for a certain YouTuber to the point where they want to remove you know, stuff about them. Uh, that's my secondary concern, and a much bigger concern, I think, is something that might happen. In fact, let me go back and say, uh, it's not something that might happen. It's something that did happen. Because upon learning that Wikitubia employs underaged people, I took a step back, and I went and looked at the moderator who deleted the accusations against Creeps McPasta. Now this moderator deleted it and they just deleted it and they locked the page. That moderator who deleted the accusations against Creeps McPasta and protected his page was underage. <laughs> that moderator at the time was a kid. Like this is something I didn't even notice. I didn't even look into this back in the day. But now looking back on it, I go back, I look into that moderator, I look at who that is. A literal kid deciding whether or not accusations of pedophilia are allowed to be put on someone's page. Credible accusations. What's also interesting to note is that the moderator who removed the information uh, said to me, don't add uh, unfounded information. I'm paraphrasing. And I replied to them and I gave them Creeps McPasta's response video, proving unequivocally that it wasn't unfounded information that this was going on at the time, that he was being accused of something, because here's his own response video, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt, because he himself is responding to it. And what do you know? What do you, what's the response to that? Complete silence and the page locked. So it's obvious that the problem was not uh, the fact that there was, there's just no evidence, there's no evidence of this. That was not the problem at all because the evidence was given to this moderator and still was kept down and kept off the page and hidden. Not allowed on Wikitubia by the child moderators. Now maybe I don't really have your interest at this point. Sure, uh, we've got everything that makes a good YouTube drama video in play here. We've got kids, we've got moderators, we've got kids who are moderators, we've got YouTubers, we've got notable people, we've got all the things, but they're not really mixing together in any kind of cohesive way. Not really, you know, anything that grabs your attention or, you know, anything you really want to learn about. Well, hold on before you click off the video. Got a little bit of a tidbit here for you. The reason that this was removed from Creeps McPasta's page is that Creeps McPasta told them to remove it himself. That's right, Creeps McPasta moved to hide the accusations against him. Purposefully. Even though he mentioned it on his own channel. Even though he made a public statement. The reason he wanted it removed? Well, because it's not on his channel where he controls the narrative, where he can delete comments where he can frame everything his way.
So he asks the wiki people to remove that information from his page, which they then have to do because of their rules. Okay? So you thought it was going to be one thing. Turns out it's another thing here. It's Creeps McPasta hiding the information against him. Now, as you can see on screen, the information that was posted to his page was far from incendiary. The information was just that this happened. Tiny little blurb saying that something happened at all. And it throws in there uh, that his video was full of lies, which is true and has been proven. But hey, you could remove that part. If you think that's a little too incendiary, you could remove that part and you could leave in. Well, he was accused of something and he did make a response video. But no, let's just get rid of the whole thing. And furthermore, Creeps McPasta is lying to the staff of the wiki by saying, Oh, trolls are messing with my page. No idea what's going on. Trolls are messing with my page. So he misrepresents what's going on, even to the staff, when he's asking them for a favor. Bet you didn't expect that, guys. Bet you didn't expect that. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, if he's trying to remove information about this from other platforms, why isn't he trying to remove it on YouTube? Like when people talk about him, you know, saying that he has grooming accusations against him, why isn't he having those videos removed? The answer is he did. He filed privacy complaints. He filed harassment complaints against people talking about what happened. He had videos of mine removed. He had Mata Nui's video removed. He's had multiple videos removed talking about what happened. And this is just another case. And I really want to thank the Wikitubia staffer who sent this to me, thinking that they were making a point against me, when I was like, oh, dude, you just fucked with Creeps McPasta in a hardcore way. You just proved that he was going around trying to get people to shut up. Holy God. Holy shit. Oh, man. Again, I bet you didn't expect that. Anyway, back to the normal video. <clears throat> so to a certain extent, I would say that my concern about having kids in charge of stuff like this is founded and proven to be a valid concern. Whether or not it's a big concern, who knows. But I really am wondering what you guys think. Do you think this is an issue, or do you think this is kind of a non-point? Because to me, you know, I'm involved in it. You know, something I posted about Creeps McPasta was taken down by a child working for this site. So, I'm involved. I'm too close to it. So I want you guys' opinions. Uh, the typical, you know, let me know in the comments below bullshit. But it's not for interaction. I really want to know what the fuck you guys think. Uh, this is just something that was astounding to me. I had to basically talk about this right away while everything is still fresh in my mind because I am dumbfounded that these people who run this site would say, oh, Slime Beast, we're sorry that that guy, uh, that moderator, that staff member, was being a dick and being crazy and, you know, repeatedly wiping pages and vandalizing things, you know, to try to get at you. Uh, we're sorry that he was doing that, but he's a minor. Bitch, why are you modding minors? What the fuck? I've gotten nothing but bullshit from the staff of this wiki, uh, except for one person. One of them even thought it was a good idea to tell me in a direct message uh, between just me and them uh, that I was lying about there being underage moderators. Like, you're talking to the person who knows that it's true, and you're telling me that I'm lying about underage moderators. It's written on the moderator's page. You know, you can look up other moderators to find out they were underage at certain points uh, when they were modding and different things like that. So, nothing but bullshit from these people, and crazy bullshit, to tell me personally that I'm lying when I am the person who knows this information? Like, this wasn't even a public post saying Slime Beast is lying, everybody. This was to the person who knew. <laughs> this is to the person. Just fucking nuts. Absolutely fucking nuts. And... It just is disturbing. Because when you have something where you're concerned about uh, minor shit, to also get, like, disinfo and a runaround from staffers in combination with that always, like, multiplies the concern and makes it a little more questionable. Like, okay, but now why are you, why are you being kind of dishonest and 
wishy-washy about shit. I don't know. But yeah, so let me know if I'm crazy. That's the end of the video. Bye!